If you talk to people who have quit their YouTube channel early in their journey, they will highlight one reason for doing so. Editing takes too much time. It was all glamorous thinking of starting a YouTube channel and becoming a star with a million subscribers. But when you burn the midnight oil, spend 20 to 30 hours before uploading one video and realize you have to do this for 100 more videos, it's not surprising if you have questioned yourself at least once. You could be passionate about the subject you are sharing. It cannot be well received without nicely presented through editing. And nicely presented definitely involves long time editing. In this video, I will share tips on how to cut down your editing time. During editing, a majority of the time is spent on repeatedly polishing the clips. The stress of presenting a perfect video output devours the time without even we realizing it. With the following tips, that's what we are going to address. To make sure we don't go over the video clips over and over again but keep moving forward with our work. It is the idea of factory assembly line that is going to help us speed up our editing. Let's go over the tips. Get your foundation for the editing project first. It could be a voiceover for a b-roll or music track. Most of the time, the foundation of the project would be the audio. Always, always, I cannot stress it enough, always get the audio in first. If it is a voiceover, go over the audio and chop off the unnecessary parts. They could be ums and ums. I even cut down the parts where I catch my breath while recording the voiceover. One advantage of going over the whole track at one go, your eyes will be easily trained to spot the similar signals to be chopped. This mechanical process would get our foundation ready in no time. Now that the audio is ready, you would get the idea of how long the video will be. Now go on and add the footages. Again, start from the beginning and keep dropping the footages. Never stop at one point and try to polish like adding icons or animations yet. The mantra is don't stop, keep moving. If you are not sure what to add in a particular place or if you are yet to film the b-roll, leave that part, add a bookmark and keep going until you reach the end. You can write down what you have planned to record. Once you have reached the end, you will know how many blanks to fill. They could be b-rolls or stock videos or even text on screen. When you think about the icons or gifs or animations or even emphasis text, add bookmark and a note. Consider changing the colors of the bookmarks. You could do all these nice to have animations at one go. By this method, you would have gone through the entire video four times or five times the max. Every time you are going over, you are performing only one operation. I repeat, never stop to go over one part again and again unless it's a complex clip where you have a lot to do in a small section. By dwelling on one part for too long, you will exhaust your creative energy, then the rest of the video would look too overwhelming. Use the bookmark feature whenever you have got to stop. After every run, it shows how much work is left. Remove the bookmark as and when you fulfill the task. Spend some time and learn the keyboard shortcuts for the editing software you use. Editing could be a highly mechanical activity and you will be repeating the actions hundreds of times. The keyboard shortcuts would save so much of your time as a muscle memory would have your fingers fly over the keyboard. If your video is where you record yourself talking to the camera, record the video keeping editing in mind. There is this amazing tip about marker videos that would help you. Click the video on top right corner and head to tip number 5. The penultimate tip is to give yourself a deadline. Set a timer within which you like to finish each activity. This would help you not to spend too much time polishing the video or certain parts. Remember, you can spend 1 minute or 20 minutes finding a right font but the viewers won't know the difference. Finally, make sure you are seated comfortably and also consider taking short breaks to energize yourself and stretch. Hope these tips help you to cut down your editing time. They certainly helped me. Please do supporting this channel by clicking the subscribe button. See you all soon in the next one.